Hey guys, welcome to my new crafting room. Today, we are going to do an iron on on this shirt. My husband is always requesting for me to do shirts, so I figured I'd do one for you guys. So you're going to go to upload. If you haven't already uploaded your image, I can show you on another video, but today I'm going to do the shark. Uncheck no fill, because you don't, because we're not printing it on a printer. We're going to be doing it on the Cricut machine. So enlarge it to the size that you want, and then click to make it. If it's got words, don't forget to mirror it. So my mat is pretty bad off. I don't know about yours, but I use mine so much, so I just have to tape it down all the time. Scotch tape or masking tape, blue tape. So whenever you're cutting, be sure you don't cut your design. Because I've cut my design before and I save all my scraps. Because I make other projects with it too. And of course you're going to weed it out. And you're going to preset your heat press to 330 for 30 seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the center. My husband wants it on the back. So I fold the top. Get it even, hold on to that, and then at the bottom as well. Match them together. And then I'm gonna make a straight line, shake it out a little bit, lay it down, flatten it out. It's not the temperature for the iron on yet, but while it's heating up, you can still iron it and make a crease. Touch it so it's cool. Alright, so you can kind of see my line. I can see it more from my angle. Um, if you have trouble seeing it, you can always put a little piece of tape down, but don't forget that you have the tape on there because you don't want to iron it and get the gunk all over your shirt. So you want to take it and fold it in half, but don't fold it in half with the sticky part together like I did. You want to do it the opposite way. So with that folded line, you're going to put that on your line that you just ironed. And then it's centered. And you want to do it about five inches from the top. And grab a parchment paper or whatever you use for a protector in between. I always use par parchment paper. So the machine is almost done. Now we just wait. And here we go. So we're gonna do it for 30 seconds. I speed it through this. So you wanna shake the shirt to get some of the heat out. So whenever you peel it back, it's not so hot. So I also like to flip the shirt over so that I can also get it again from the back for good measure. Oh, by the way, I did get these shirts at Walmart. Just saying, $3.44. And voila, there you go. All right, here's the final product. Thank y'all for watching.